Ever since creating my channel, I found myself watching a lot of other fairy tale channels for both entertainment and as well to see what I can improve on within my videos. Very recently, though, I stumbled across a channel called Goku T23, who does fairy tale content along with a large array of other anime. One series I was quickly drawn to within his channel was his weekly fairy tale discussion series, where he talks about such things as what a so and so character never joined fairy tale or does countdowns to things within the fairy tale series, such as top five strongest characters. While I was on his channel, I found a video that sparked my interest called Five things you would change about fairy tale so being as curious as i naturally am i actually clicked on it and began to watch through the video and when i finished the video i was actually really curious about what other people had to say and what they would change about fairy tale so i went to the comment section and a large amount of the comments were actually bashing people like lucy saying the only thing they would change in fairy tale is not having lucy join the guild and never having lucy to be part of the series to begin with although i did respect the fact that it was their opinions i couldn't help but feel that like as if they misunderstood lucy's character completely a lot of comments were pointing out the fact that she was weak and the fact that someone like her being allowed into fairy tale to begin with was pitiful. Just people who leave these types of comments I feel as if completely misunderstand Lucy's character and what Hiro Mashima is trying to convey through the use of her character within the manga. So I decided that I'd go ahead and make a video addressing this topic. Now before I get into my miniature rant I guess you could call it. I want to say that if you hate Lucy, I completely understand your opinion. People all have different opinions about characters, but this is more or less directed towards people who hate her for being weak, because I hit, can't help but feel that those people lack an understanding of what her role is within Fairy Tale. So to start this off, yes, I do believe that Lucy is weak compared to other characters, and you could even argue that she is weak overall. But the thing is, Lucy isn't meant to be strong. She's meant to have her moments here and there of strength, but her purpose is not to be this heroic character that you always look up to within the series for her strength. That's the purpose of characters such as Natsu, Urza, and Grey. She's meant to be the main female protagonist and essentially the story's point of view. I really as well see her as one of the main emotional parts when it comes to fairy tale. She's an emotional character and that allows for her to be a versatile point of view character as well. I can agree with the argument as well that it's a bold move to make her the main female protagonist and the story's point of view, and to a certain extent I can understand why people would find it stupid, but within a story if you execute the right way like Hiro Mashima, you leave room for even more character development in regards to strength than you would have for someone like Natsu by doing this. I feel as if Hiro Mashima made her weak with the intent to assure that she being the story's main point of view to a certain extent doesn't go stale and always has room for improvement, thus allowing him to work with the development of her character alone lot more within the series. Before you go on to argue that Natsu is the main point of view within Fairy Tale and just the main character overall, I want to bring up one of Hiro Mashima's interviews that I saw translated on another Fairy Tale YouTuber's channel known as Savage Zui Panda, where Hiro Mashima was doing a Q&A and was asked why Lucy is the main character of Fairy Tale. With this, he actually responded that Natsu and Lucy are both sharing the role of main character within Fairy Tale. Why did you choose a heroine for the main character? For me, in Fairy Tale, the, the main characters to me are Natsu and Lucy. They are already a lot of characters in my guild and I told myself that it would be nice to put a forward girl into the series. Overall, I feel as if people who say she's weak and hate her for that exact reason completely misunderstand her character. As I stated before, Lucy's not meant to go around completely obliterating every threat in Fairy Tale's way. It's kind of obvious that that spot is saved for Natsu, let's be honest here. Natsu is the heroic badass that saves the day no matter what stands in his way with a little bit of extra help from his friends sometimes, even sometimes including Lucy. While Lucy is the main point of view character, the character from which the story is seen from a large amount of the time, and the character that is still working on developing their strength fully. By the time Fairy Tale ends, I still think Lucy will be considered weak when compared to people like Natsu, but comparing her to the end of the series from her at the beginning of it, I feel as if she will have grown a lot in regards to her strength. Overall though, I think Lucy gets a lot of hate as a character just because people misunderstand her and her purpose within the manga. Nevertheless though, that concludes my rant. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, a like is much appreciated along with a subscription to my channel. I will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.